this is Paul from Quick and Mobile, and as you can see, I am here with a Falcon Reclining Power Lightweight Folding Wheelchair. The Falcon weighs 55 pounds with no batteries, and it weighs 63 pounds with both batteries. Before we get into this review, let's just give an opportunity to go ahead and pause the video so you can write down where to find us online. Okay, excellent. That has been taken care of, so let's go ahead and take a look at this chair. The Falcon is, in many ways, a one-of-a-kind chair. Let's take a look at the arm rests. This is one of the only ergonomic reclining power folding wheelchairs on the market, if not the only one. The arm rests actually elevate, taking the pressure off the lumbar, taking the pressure off the person's shoulders when they're sitting in the chair, to accommodate a chair with a headrest. So let's take a look here. If I was going to sit in the chair, we're going to move the attendant controller bracket out of the way. This is an optional bracket that would allow you to mount the joystick on the back of the chair so an attendant could actually control the chair without having to push the chair. Now, of course, the chair does have the ability to go into freewheel mode, as you can see, or it functions as a power chair. For the time being, let's just go ahead and lock it so it would be able to function as a power chair. And let me sit down in the chair here, in the seat. Leg extension kit very easily locks my legs fully in front of my body if I need my legs in front of my body and I can just recline right by the pole. You see no strain on my shoulders because the armrests are actually lifted and you can see the level of comfort that I'd be operating this chair as a recliner with no problem on my lower back. The headrest is exceptionally comfortable. I have multiple areas that I can adjust in the headrest and this chair itself does hold up to 400 pounds. Leg extension kit is completely adjustable and does get out of the way. So for the purpose of this specific chair right here, I like to demonstrate this chair and review this chair with the headrest, with the leg extension kit, and to show that it does have the ability to have an attendant controller bracket. When you're done with the leg extension kit, you can see that it's very easy to remove the leg extension kit no problem at all. It takes maybe what about five to ten seconds tops. Very easy and we have the Allen wrench that actually came with the toolkit. You can see that the headrest is very simple to remove as well. It's just a matter of taking the brackets off of the chair. So we will take the brackets off the chair and we will go into a lot more detail about the specific chair. People want to know things like the ability of the motors. So we have two 250 watt motors on this chair. Let's just get these brackets out of the way and then we can take a look in the back of the chair and we can start to really understand what is under the hood, so to speak. Right now, what we're looking at is we are looking at the, the actual motors. We have one, two, 250 watt motors. Now there's the infinite, infinite reclining mechanism. This bracket, now some of the chairs that recline, not only do they not hold up to 400 pounds, like this chair does, not only are they not FDA approved chairs, this chair is an FDA medical device they don't have the ability to give you an infinite amount of possibilities when you're using the reclining mechanism. Look at that. And not only that, the actual arm rests are not ergonomic. The arm rests typically lay flat, put additional strain on a person's lower back, put additional strain on a person's shoulders, and put a lot of retching on the neck, even with the headrest in some cases, depending on how it's configured. Okay, so enough of that. We have two DuraShock shock absorbers with this chair that helps absorb energy from the ground. And we have, for a smoother ride, of course, we have a quick release latch that will allow the chair to fold and unfold. We'll fold the chair up in just a moment. 
Uh, a few more things that I do want to point out before we get into folding the chair. We'll take a couple measurements here just from the back of the chair. So we take a look at this chair and it is about 23 and a half inches of total width. That's the doorway that you need. The rear wheels are each 12 inch diameter and they're about two inches thick. You can see that you have tread in these non-flat tires. So if you roll over a whole row of tacks, don't worry about it. There's no inner tube, they're not going flat. Let's take a look at the quality welds here. These chairs are made from aircraft grade aluminum alloy. And we have had so many different welders or people that were professional welders and metal workers make compliments about the different weld points of our chairs. They're FDA registered medical devices. There's a completely different standard when it comes to the FDA and a medical device over a chair that's just a, a recreational device. Now with these two switches in the back of the motor, as long as the joystick is off, now these are the electromagnetic motors that are brushless motors. Really quick before I go into anything else, probably one of the more important questions that you're going to ask when evaluating a chair to purchase, are the electromagnetic motors brushless? If they're brushless, they work in a virtually frictionless environment. If they're not brushless, if they're the brushed motors, they have a small brush that conducts the electricity. They are built with an inherent device that will cause them to break typically within three to five years. That's just reality. And when you're looking at five to $600 to replace a motor, you want the brushless electromagnetic motors. Chairs in freewheel, look how easy it is to drive. I lock the chair. It, it basically puts the chair in place. And then we take a look at the actual joystick we can power the joystick on upper button right here. It might be a little bit sunny. So we have the speed control, drops the speed down and the top speed for this chair is just a fraction under four miles per hour. And we have the horn as well. A unique feature about this joystick, if we pan out just a little bit, is that the joystick is an alternating pressure joystick. So I can either put it on full blast and it's gonna take off like a rocket. Well, not take off like a rocket, or I can go just a little bit and the chair is going to inch forward and inch back. This chair, the joystick, it's a Sensi Touch joystick. One of the beautiful things about a Sensi Touch joystick is if we just take the camera a little bit further back and we take a look at the turning radius of the chair itself, just with one finger, it's, it's so easy to to turn this chair around. And of course, if I made a mistake, I'm probably getting wet and I'm going swimming whether I want to or not. So it's very important for me to have a chair that has a very tight turning radius and that's very easy to use like this chair is. Now, a few things that we want to point out with the design of this chair, I've done this with just about every video that we do. I have to do it with this video. The chair itself holds 400 pounds it's very easy for me to support my weight on the chair. The chair's not going to break if I push on the arms to get out of the chair. Let's turn the chair off and a few things that I really like about this chair, a few more features that we'll take a look at. The footrest folds up flush to the chair and the armrests actually unlock and lift up. So each armrest unlocks and each armrest lifts up. So when it comes to mount or dismount, the chair gives you a lot of different options for mount and dismount abilities or pulling the chair up or being pushed in the chair. And it's very easy to actually have my feet right down flush on the ground in front of the chair. There's a lot of chairs out there that do not give you that ability for me to get out of the chair very easily, very simply. Let's go ahead and just drop these arms down. We'll take some very basic measurements before we go on to the next phase here. Um, we take a look at the space in between the armrests. Couple basics. We have about 18 inches, almost 19 inches of space in between the armrests. And get a better view right there. Okay, and then basically, if we're going to take a look at the top of the seat to the top of the chair, we have about 20 inches right there. And let's just take a look at the actual depth itself. We have about 16 and a half inches of depth. 
How high is this seat from the ground? This is something that people often ask. It is about approximately 20 inches off the ground, just under 20 inches from the top of the seat. The seat itself is a breathable fabric. It's a dry wicking fabric, so it's not going to get wet. It is memory foam. Now we can see that underneath the seat, of course we have a seat cushion here as well, same thing. We have a completely adjustable lumbar support system right here and we have an adjustable softness or firmness seating harness the chair does come with the seat belt if we took a look at the basket underneath the chair um, the seat belt is actually included that can attach to the chair anywhere you want whether it be around the upper body of the chair or whether it be around the person's waist so the seat belt is included we've done multiple seat belt videos and the batteries the batteries are FAA travel compliant batteries. They slide right out of the chair. You can charge them actually directly in the battery, or if you plug the charger directly into the front of the joystick, you're going to charge both batteries at the same time. Each battery weighs just four pounds, and these are six AH or amperage hours per battery, so they are well within the travel guidelines. Batteries, if they're charged properly, will last you three to five years before they need replacing. Okay, so we do have the chair actually in freewheel mode, so it can be a push chair. Uh, a couple more things that we do want to point out about the actual chair itself here. Um, we can see folding, how easy it is to fold the chair up. So let's just get a couple of the things out of the seat of the chair, and we will just press the quick release lever just going to fold the chair forward pick the chair up and there we go the chair is totally folded up look how easy that chair is to fold up folks now yes I'm I'm in relatively decent shape doesn't mean I don't have aches and pains in my body if I am going to lift this ergonomically it's pretty simple to lift up and it's pretty simple to get in the trunk of the car so if you do not have the ability to lift this, maybe somebody that is a little bit more able-bodied that you're with does, or there's always the ability of a lightweight folding ramp to get this in and out of your vehicle. Take a look at a split second to actually unfold the device. A couple more things that we'll take a look at. The joystick itself, it's mounted from the factory on the right-hand side of the chair. It can go on the left-hand side and we have a quick release disconnector on the joystick for safe traveling. So let's go ahead and just get this chair packed up, put away. It was a great deal of fun just giving an overall review on a nice day about the Falcon reclining, ergonomic, power folding wheelchair, Falcon reclining, ergonomic, power folding wheelchair, how easy it is to fold, unfold, and utilize. Thank you so much for watching the video, folks. Make it a wonderful day.